Good morning, Morgan. Well, apartment and townhouse sales in Manhattan hitting an all-time record of $30 billion last year. More than 16,000 contracts were signed. That's also the highest ever. What started as a buyer's market a year ago is now clearly a seller's market. Apartments sold for an average of 98 percent of their asking price. Median sale price is jumping 11 percent in the fourth quarter. The average uh, apartment in Manhattan will now cost you $1.95 million. So basically what happened is prices fell 6 to 7 percent at their lowest. They are now back to pre-pandemic levels. And the sales are being driven largely by the top end, especially the penthouses and three to four bedroom apartments in new development. Inventory for new development falling by a third. That's the fastest decline in recent history. Bidding wars hitting their highest level since 2018. And there were eight deals over $50 million, the most expensive with Joe's, Joe's size, $157 million purchase of two floors at 220 Central Park South. Jeff Bezos buying up five apartments now totaling $119 million in a building downtown. David? Yeah, we reported that Joe size story, Robert. Um, you know, we did. Uh, one Central Park Tower, I think it's called, that giant Extel building over 100 stories high right there on 58th Street. I mean, for a while, it looked like nobody was going to sell there. It was going to be basically a give it back to the lenders. I'm just curious, as a reflection of the overall market, do you have any idea where things stand for a building like that? That building and the tower just down the street, the old Steiner building, which is equally high but very thin, those buildings are selling better than expected, but that whole billionaire's row has been tough. I mean, that was an overseas buyer's market. The overseas buyers just came back into the Manhattan market in November when they could return to the U.S. Where the, the wealthy buyers are buying is really downtown, the Upper West and the Upper East. That billionaire row midtown is not a great neighborhood, and so it was always a foreign buyer. They're filling up, but it's slowly, and many are hoping next year when the foreign buyers really return, those buildings will truly sell out. But they're doing well. Yeah. Well, interesting this market is doing so well without them. Uh, Robert, thank you. Robert Frank.